Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw. I'm here with Bruce Nirenberg, a familiar face if you know his career in cruising. And he's with Victory Cruise Lines. And we're going to talk a little bit about what Victory Cruise Lines is. And this is Insider Travel Report. Bruce, you've been around the business for a long time in cruising and fairly recently started Victory Cruise Lines. Tell us about what the company is. Yeah, well, Victory is a, a, a small ship cruise line that specializes in coastal cruising where destinations is the reason that people take the trip. Mm -hmm. uh, the ship acts as your hotel, uh, provides five-star food and service. Everything's included, all the food, the booze, the tours, everything. Mm -hmm. The only thing you have to do is cover your tips at the end of the voyage. Uh, we go to destinations that are here in North America, up in the Great Lakes, in Canada, New England. Which not, not very many people do, right? No, it's, it, it's a hot destination right now because our, our customers are mostly mature. They're baby boomers, mostly are 60 plus. Uh, we don't carry a lot of families. This is mostly couples, retirees. Mm -hmm. Uh, their kids are grown, empty nesters, and they've been all over the world. They're very well-traveled, well-educated, affluent, and they're looking for secure, safe destinations with a little bit of an exotic nature to them. So they haven't been to the Great Lakes. They love that. The market right now is how can I have a fun, exotic trip without having to fly across the Atlantic? Okay. That's what they're trying to do. And in the wintertime, when the weather gets cool, we head south. We cruise out of Miami down to Cuba. We do a circumnavigation to visiting all five major ports in Cuba. Yeah, and I have done Cuba, and I did realize you were doing circumnavigations until recently and that's that's a rare cruise not everybody here a lot of people are going to Havana now but not to all the other destinations right? yeah Cuba is a really big country uh, it's the Cuba's landmass is bigger than all the rest of the Caribbean nations uh, by combined mm. and has five very distinct regions we visit all five and we spend two days and one night in each place that we visit so it really gives them a chance to find out what's going on in those communities mm. uh, people like that they have the disposable time to take it uh, it's very immersive, so that people really do get a feeling of what Cuba is like when they get back. Yeah. Now, uh, in terms of what is the ship you're using right now? The Victory One is uh, a, a modern coastal cruiser. It looks like it was built in 1900 because that was intended to make it look like a, a turn of the century vessel, but it was actually built in 2002, and it has all the modern uh, amenities and technology that you'd expect in a ship of that age. But it's very warm and friendly. It's like uh, our customers say, it's like it's like taking a vacation in your living room. Mm -hmm. You feel very much at home. It's easy to get around. There's no standing in line. There's no waits. There's, everything's open, uh, and they feel very comfortable and secure in it. They like that, and this age group especially likes that. Yeah. Now you have another ship on the way too. That you're going to get soon, right? Yes. The Victory Two starts July 27th. Her first cruise is going to be from Montreal, Canada, mm -hmm. to Detroit. And uh, she's identical to the Victory One. They're sister ships. They were built together. And uh, she will also go in the wintertime south after her Great Lakes season. And she will cruise to the northern coast of Mexico. We're going to do a, a brand new type of product. It's a cruise and land all-inclusive combination. Mm. Uh, we'll go to Puerto Morelos, Progreso Merida, and over to Campeche for the first time. It's the first time a cruise has gone to all three states of the Yucatan in one voyage. But in between, we're actually going to take the people off the ship take them over to Chichen Itza, spend the night in the pyramids, and have coffee at sunrise. So you do overnights, so that's great. We're going to do an overnight in Chichen Itza, and then they come back to the vessel in Progreso, and they will visit several inland cities of Mexico you usually don't get a chance to see. No, it sounds like a fascinating itinerary. Now, what, what would you tell travel agents about how to sell this product? Yeah. This is definitely a product for uh, mature customers, uh, people who are experienced travelers. Our, our guests even ask for a book list before they go of the places we're going to visit to get a better feeling for what they're going to see. Um, very well traveled, people who are demanding, but at the same time enjoy companionship of the people in their own age groups um, and are looking for cultural and historical experiences. Well, Bruce, it sounds fascinating. I love the idea of a Great Lakes itinerary. I think there's almost no lines that I know of. I think there used to be a German line that did it. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, and then Cuba, of course, as you said, is very hot. And it sounds like you got one of the best ways to, to go around Cuba and see all of Cuba, not just Havana, right? Yeah, we're, we're very excited. about Our first cruise to Cuba is April 20th. So we're really looking forward to our inaugural trip. And we're, we're thinking it'll be a lot of fun. And we're really looking forward to seeing what kind of a response we get. I think you'll do well. It seems like everybody's heading to Cuba, but you've got a little bit of a different thing there. Oh, yeah. Bruce, great to see you again. Uh, good luck with Victory Cruise Lines, and take a look at it. It could be a great thing for your clients. And I'm James Schellinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.